Cluck TV presents A Closer Look with Al Travis, sharing how they select the stories featured on Destination Small Town. Al Travis with Destination Small Town. I'm the guy who's got to figure out what videos we do and which ones we don't. And what's fun about it is I'm a museum guy. Because almost every county's got one. And if you want to know really the history of any place, you go to the county museum and you find out all you want to know. And we have one of those today in the Renville County Historical Society and Museum. Let's take a look at it. The mission of the Renville County Historical Society is to serve as the steward for county history and collecting, preserving, and promoting the natural and cultural history of Renville County and its people. If you really want to know what's going on, you talk to the museum curator, right? That's not hard. We talked to Nicole. Nicole, how are you doing via our little satellite? Hi, Al. Great talking with you today. Well, these historical sites are always interesting to me. How did the Renville County Historical Society and Museum get where it is today? That's a great story, Al. We started in 1940 and we we're officed over in Olivia at the courthouse. But then the war started and we needed to regroup. In the 50s, they decided to find a home for the Historical Society. So after some research, they found two schoolhouses sitting on the prairie and decided to move them to Morton where the land was donated. All right, I've got to ask, what's that in front of you? What are some of the neat things you've got going on there? Oh, that is a great question too. This is our USS Renville. Uh, we have a ship named after our county and this is just recently donated to the Historical Society. Other things we have at our museum are pictures and paintings of Dorothea Pauls over here. And my favorite is the Morton Nice Rock, which is part of our area here along the Minnesota River Valley. Those are featured in our cases behind me. I love the history of this county. There is such rich history. All the old villages that are no longer here, we have all their history. And of course, don't forget about the Dakota War and the Yellowstone Trail. All right, I want to give you time to go, but I want you to find a very unique item that you can show us. This is, again, of course, the Renville uh, County Historical Society and Museum. We're talking to Nicole. Um, do me a favor, something very, very unique. What do you've got? Well, you know, Al, I can't stay in one spot, so I had to move around the museum to show you my awesome buffalo coat. This thing is nice and warm for the wintertime. We have a lot of things to see here at the Historical Society, not just boring old things. The exciting things we have behind me are Big Buffalo Bob. Don't worry, he doesn't bite. He is a lot of fun to play with. And my exciting find we had this year was a Yellowstone Trail sign that we found that is from the original Yellowstone Trail. Now this baby is usually in my office because I don't trust anybody with it. But if you come down to the Historical Society, I'll show it to you. I'd look good in that jacket. I really would. Uh, do me a favor. Take and show us one of those uh, unique setups. I'm under the impression you have some real rooms and that sort of thing uh, set up for time periods. Um, I don't really play the organ, but I wanted to show you this awesome area that we have. It's called our parlor. We, they call it a funeral parlor sometimes because we actually would have funerals in their homes. Now, the parlor's kind of dated back in the early 1900s, and this is one of the exhibits in our six-building complex here at the Historical Society. These are awesome finds, our Bibles, our pump organs, which does work. So come on down and check out the history. Nicole, I'm under the impression that everybody has some way of uh, making some money, selling some stuff. You've got one of those uh, areas in your shop? We have some awesome books here on the Dakota War and also Renville County and authors from Renville County that you can purchase right here in our gift store or online on our website. But, you know, now our gift shop is not our only fundraiser. We do actually do events throughout the year. Fourth of July is big for Morton's, so we have our food stand fundraiser and also our veterans roundtable that day and that evening a patriotic sing-along. So come Fourth of July to Morton for some great, exciting things going on. And don't forget to go to the county fair, which is in Bird Island, Minnesota. And we have our own building, building number four, which we take the entire museum to every year. So come see us for our events throughout the year. Nicole, it is always fun to get to take a look at these places and see some of the unique stuff and, and people like yourself that are so excited about what they do. Do me a favor, tell us how, how and where we can get more info if we really wanted it. If you want more information on how to find Renville County Historical Society, go to our website, www.renvillecountyhistory.com or call us, 507-697-6147. Yes, we still have a landline. 
be sure to stop on in to the Museum and Historical Society in Morton, Minnesota to do research on your family history. I'm sitting in our research library, which is chock full of family history. So come on down to Renville County Historical Society in Morton, Minnesota and say hi. All right, Nicole, thank you very much from the uh, Renville County Historical Society and Museum. Another one of those great spots. You got to stop in when you get there. Take the time to take a look around. I'm Al Travis for Destination Small Town.